Today, we're going to work on identifying shapes. Let's look at the first problem. It says, which of the following objects is a triangle? So we are given a few different shapes here. Let's see, we're given this shape, this shape, and this shape. Let's take a look at the sides and the angles of each shape. So here, I'm going to count the sides of this shape. One, two, three, four, five. This one has five sides. This one has one, two, three sides. And this one has one, two, three, four sides. They also have the same number of angles. And that's where our two sides meet. So one, two, three, four, five. So this one has five angles. This one has one, two, three angles. And this one has one, two, three, four angles. So these have the same number of sides as they do angles. Let's keep that in mind. So I know that my shape that has three angles is called a triangle. And a way that I remember that is I think of a tricycle. And a tricycle has how many wheels? Yeah, three. So tri, T-R-I, means three. So this shape has three angles, so it is called a triangle. I know that my four-sided shapes are either squares or rectangles. And I know this is a square because all of the sides are the same length. So this is a square, this is a triangle, and let's count the sides of this one. One, two, three, four, five. Five sides and five angles, so I know this one is a pentagon. So we have pentagon, triangle, and square. Now let's look at our problem. Which of the following objects is a triangle? All right, so I know triangle kind of reminds me of tricycle because a tricycle has three wheels. So we're looking for the shape that has three angles or three sides also. So it's this one, triangle, one, two, three angles and one, two, three sides. All right, which of the following objects is a triangle? Another one, all right. Can you point to the triangle? Yes, just like last time, one, two, three. All right, which of the following objects is a pentagon? Okay, let's count our sides again. One, two, three, four, five, six. This one, can you recognize this shape just by looking at it? Yeah, this one's a star. I'm gonna write star above it. That one's a star. Now let's count the sides of this one. One, two, three, four, five. Well, I know with this shape over here that it has six sides. And I know the word hexagon also has an X, like the word six does. Do you hear the X sound in the word? So that helps me remember the word hexagon, because hexagon has the letter X in it. So I'll write that, hexagon. So I know that's a hexagon. There's my X, just like in the word six. There's my X and six. All right, so hexagon, star, and then do you remember the one that has five sides? One, two, three, four, five, that's a pentagon. All right, so we know this is a hexagon, this is a star, and this is a pentagon. So which of the following objects is a pentagon? Yes, good job. Which of the following objects is a pentagon? Here it is again. Do you see it? Which one has five sides? Yes, this one. One, two, three, four, five. It's a pentagon. 
Which of the following objects is an octagon? All right, let's count some sides. I do recognize this one, do you? Yes, it's a star. All right, so let's look at these two. This one has one, two, three, four sides. And this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides. All right, they asked about an octagon. And octagon is one of my favorites because it makes me think of an octopus. Do you know how many tentacles an octopus has? Yeah, eight. So octa would be eight. So an octagon has eight sides and eight angles. So which one has eight? Yes, this one. So we know this is the correct answer. Which of the following objects is an octagon? All right, count the sides. Which one's an octagon? Yes, this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides and eight angles. Amazing. Which of the following objects is a rectangle? Do you remember when we were looking at the square earlier, I said there were two shapes that had four sides? There's the square and the rectangle. Other shapes also have four sides sometimes, but those are the two we're gonna think about today. And a square is a square if all sides are the same length. But a rectangle has two sides that are longer than the other two sides. And I see that here. This side and this side are longer than the bottom and the top. So this must be the rectangle. Which of the following objects is an octagon? Ooh, my favorite one. Do you remember what octa means? It makes me think of an octopus. Yeah, so octa is eight. Which one of these has eight sides? Not this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's this one. Which of the following objects is a triangle? I think of triangle like tricycle. A tricycle has three wheels, so a triangle has three angles. Which one here has three angles and three sides? Yes, this one. One, two, three. Which of the following objects is a circle? We can't count any angles with our circle. Here we have angles and sides, and here we have angles and sides. So this must be our circle. Wow, fantastic work, my friends.